Welcome to West Berlin. We've got a job to do. Adler? Bell? Let's get started. There's been a surge in Russian chatter in the last 48 hours. The CIA and the DOD are tapping their inside sources for anything substantial. So far, there are no leads on Perseus. MI6 has come up empty-handed as well. So we'll have to start somewhere. So we're going back here. Vietnam, 1968. One of our closest encounters with Perseus. Shit. Some part of me always knew that mission wasn't done with us. Pull up everything we've got on the attack in Da Nang and run it past Park. She'll cross-reference it with MI6. We're looking for code names, encrypted transmission, Russian activity with NVA, anything that could be a lead. You got it. Bell, this is where you come in. As ex-KGB, it was a risk to bring you on, but we needed to think like them. We need that mindset again. Head to the evidence board. Retrace our steps through Da Nang. Anything that could give us a lead on Perseus. That's it. Sims will pick up the rest for you. Thank you, Agent Azalei. The medical supplies will be in the back room. I'm going to need to process some of these old negatives. You can hit that whenever you're ready. The dark room's mostly functional. Just waiting on a couple more deliveries to finish it up. How are things, Bell? In this case, quite. I understand you may have first-hand knowledge that could help us. It must be difficult, Bell. I can't claim to have experienced what you have. Perhaps going over it again could be... therapeutic. You and I. It's entirely possible. I have a long collaborative history with other intelligence services. Our paths have likely crossed at some point. Well, I'm keen to hear about your time in Indochina. So close to Perseus. Not nearly as much as I'd like. I have experience with others like Perseus. They're all chess players. I enjoy predicting the next move. We'll talk again soon. We finished analyzing the names Bell acquired at Denang. One in particular stands out, Anton Volkov. He's a Russian arms dealer working out of East Berlin. Admittedly, his connection to Perseus comes as a surprise. We've got killer capture orders on Volkov. So if we can't get to Perseus, we'll get to his men. Close off his resources, force him out of hiding. Mason and Woods are still wrapping up business in Kiev. Which means Volkov is ours. Gear up, and we'll move out. MI6 has been tracking Volkov for seven years. It is my strong preference that we attempt to capture rather than kill him. He holds answers to a great many questions. Your preference has been noted, Agent Park. That'll work. <clears throat> That until you found in Da Nang was a treasure trove. Will you tell me? 
After we dug it up, you spent two full hours decrypting everything inside. You seem to think Volkov was the name to pay attention to. Are you feeling all right, Bell? That's one of the reasons we wanted you on this team. Not even the CIA's best cryptographers have been able to crack that dossier. You're special, Bell. But it also sounds like you need a nap. We have, for a short while. We share a common interest. Though to be frank, he's not the most pleasant person I've worked with. And from one woman to another, give him a wide berth. No more than you need to, I'll tell you that. Avoid personal questions. And whatever you do, never ask him about his scar. Do you really think that if I knew, I would tell you? You're cute. Born on the coast of Leningrad, never travels when the sun's out. He has impeccable taste in scotch and medieval torture devices. I think he'd love the UK. I plan on giving him a personal tour. My pleasure. As soon as the train slows down, you and I'll jump off. Park, Lazar. Wait till the next station. Bell and I'll track down Kraus. All right. Train slowing down. Let's go to work. We're back. A car pulled up near Kraus's building a few minutes ago, but I didn't have a good angle to... Just a moment. Kraus is on the telephone. Bell, get eyes on Kraus. What do you think, Lazar? Sounds like Volkov wants Krauss's briefcase. We should place a tracker in it. The case will lead us straight to Volkov. One of us can sneak into Krauss's apartment. Avoiding Krauss and his wife might be the greater challenge. Bell volunteers. While she's doing that, I'll check around the exterior for any unwanted guests. Bart, you can keep an eye on us from here. I'll try to give you my best angle. Lovely. It's what you are good at, is it? At last. Bell, on behalf of MI6, thank you. Volkov is ours. More than he deserves. Now let's get the hell out of East Berlin. You did the right thing. One of Perseus's men off the board. Is it? I wanted him alive. MI6 could have gotten so much more out of him. Can't win them all. Now let's get the hell out of East Berlin. Audio is unintelligible. All right. I'll do some digging. Oh, that new enlarger came in. I set it up in the dark room for you. Curious. Does the name Madame Shell mean anything to you? Uh, sounds familiar. There's intel crisscrossing ARPANET that her body washed up along the Padillos River in Cyprus. Oh, huh. that's so. And her head, two kilometers downstream. Reports estimate her death around August of last year. Of all places, you were on assignment in Cyprus this past summer. Coincidence, <clears throat> wouldn't you say? Our line of work is full of coincidences. 
MI6 was keen on finding her. A rogue double agent gone dark for several years. I suppose she must have exposed herself somehow to the CIA. Leave behind a trail of heads? Bound to get attention? I worked with Madame Shell for three years, closely. I trusted her. But the moment I began to suspect something, she knew. I was able to fight her off, but she left me with this parting gift. Oof. That's a dirty cut. Quite. So imagine my surprise when I read these reports. Madame Shell, body washed up on one bank, head on the other. Ironic, wouldn't you say? I'd call it... Poetic justice. The Tsar. <laughs> Thank you. For what? Expect to see you back here. Less is more. Less talking, less interaction, less commotion. Blend in. It's the last place they'll expect an intrusion, so you'll have that to your advantage. Pretty much everything else is at your disadvantage. Coordinating infill and exfill. We've had to move mountains to fashion an untraceable route to Lubyanka Square. I'll make sure that goes off without a hitch. Getting you out, however, is another headache entirely. I've requested updated aerial reconnaissance to aid in planning your escape route. I don't want to run into any unknowns. Our path out of the Soviet Union will be anything but conventional. Hudson has his biases. There are people he'll never trust, and certain people he trusts impeccably. It just so happens you fall into the former category. I wouldn't dwell on it. Hudson was leery about commingling with other intelligence agencies. But after President Reagan greenlit Adler's operation, he fell in line like a good little American patriot. Remember when I warned you about inquiring into Adler's past? Some of that was likely projection. We're not always proud of our scars. I believe there are better ways to embellish one's character. But in our line of work, it's often more important to diminish the impression we leave on people. Being cheeky, are we, Belle? Are you taking the piss? I'll be here if you need me. This is it. The recent movements of Theodore Hastings has led us here. Cuba. Right in our backyard. A vacant government facility in the Cuban countryside has become a hub of activity for Perseus, and the likely location of the stolen nuke. No doubt Castro allowed it. Twenty bucks to anyone who can bring him down before me. Who? Castro or Perseus? Whoever. We are not gonna let him move this nuke inside the States. It's time to take down Perseus, once and for all. Team, wrap up any unfinished business. Once we strike, there's no turning back. Woods! Don't get any bright ideas over there. Yeah, you've got my sure as shit guarantee, Hudson. May I have a word? 
What's up? I need a few minutes of your time to discuss something. You available? In private. You ready? Let's talk. You look ready. Yeah. Check this out. <clears throat> How's the rust on your Spanish? Mm. I can pass easily in Spain. In Havana, they'll identify me as a gringo as soon as I open my mouth. Fortunately, I don't want to talk too much. Park, we need a hook into the line, now! We'll do it in turns. Bell, you harness up first. We'll cover. Go! Cover. Shit. Well? Ah. My legs. Contact in T minus ten. Nine. The eight. Seven. Six. Move your ass, Bell. Five. We're nearly out of time. Three. Two. Come on, a little further. Sims, get the gurney. I feel like I owe you. Ah. Bloody hell. We're going to lose a lot more than Lazar if we don't execute this next move correctly. We need you to hang in there for one more assignment. I'm counting on you again, Bell. Sims, get the dosages ready. All of them. Adler, stop wasting our valuable time. He's of no use to us anymore. Stay alert, Bell. You're the key to stopping persons. You always have been. No more half-assing it. We're doing an intracerebral injection. Injecting directly into the brain could provoke seizures, or worse. Damn. Do the eye socket. You sure about this, Doc? Memory should begin almost immediately. Bell, listen to me. I need you to remember. Think back to our time in Vietnam one more time. We need to finish what we started. We had a job to do. We just want some assistance in return. Bell, you were one of Perseus's agents. His associate, Arash Kardavar, turned on you at the airstrip in Turkey left you for dead. The bigger challenge was your memory. The CIA's MK Ultra program used Adler's missions in Vietnam as a template. We needed you to have that shared experience, that lifelong bond, to establish trust. How did the cleanup in Havana go? We were able to recover Agent Azalea's body from the compound in Cuba. President Reagan personally reached out to his family and his caskets in transit to Tel Aviv. As you know, Helen Park returned to London. She'll continue to recover from her injuries there. Afterwards, MI6 plans to give her a task force dedicated to finding Perseus. What about the rest of the team? They got off Solovesky before the Soviets could send in forces to investigate. We'll take some time to heal up, then it's back to work. There's nothing here. This can't be the right place. We didn't see anything on our side either. It's her! She fucking lied to us! That true, Bell? You pull us out to the middle of nowhere Russia so Perseus can detonate those nukes? Oh, yeah. 
Repeat, comrade. Ready for a little retribution? Bill, you're making a mistake! We spoke in MI6, they're understandably displeased. We owe them one. What about the rest of the team? They got off Solovesky before the Soviets could send in forces to investigate. We'll take some time to heal up, then it's back to work. And Helen Park was wiped out with him. She had been sniffing around the edges of our group for years. One less Western nuisance for us to deal with. As for the rest, it was a pleasure eliminating them by your side.